well as it stands right now there is no way anybody is going to say that's the issue or should i rather say the case of sylvester is not touching but since the school thinks that justice can be denied no matter how people try to fight for it that is what they are making us to understand as domain college claimed that they have won the case although domain college said that people should stop attacking them that they have won the management of domain college lagos has warned nigerians to desist from spreading false information about the death of a 12 year old student sylvester Urumuni saying our truth has won this is contained in a statement by the school on friday days after the lagos state government exonerate its students and staff from culpability in the death of their former students Darwin college said it was time nigerians allowed the soul of the 12 year old sylvester to rest <laughs> According to them, they said that people are busy making um, things or blowing things out of proportion. That they should allow the soul of the boy to rest peacefully. That is their claim. Hmm. Well, according to Nigerians, they are busy saying that these people are trying so hard to cover up their bad deeds. We respectfully request that all those who have consistently misguided me and maliciously push false information and and um, false information should ease and desist immediately and allow our dear Sylvester soul rest peacefully on or our Lord's end, Darwin College said. There have been controversies surrounding the death of the late students who alleged that he was tortured by other students who had forced him to join a secret court group within the school premises. On Wednesday, the Director of Public Prosecution, DPP in Lagos State, DPP in Lagos State um, claims that there is no longer case consigning the uh, 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 the, the 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 dead child. Should I rather put it that way? Uh, that they should let the sleeping dog lie and let everything be the way it is. That the student was not tortured and they should let things be the way it is. Minister of Justice asserted that there was no sufficient evidence to establish that the arrested students were members of a lawful society. But um, Darwin College said that we do not know under uh, what circumstance the accused names were mentioned, adding that it had no response to that. It insisted that the school was only aware that young Ormoni sustained injuries while playing football, claiming two of the boys mentioned are they a uh, day student with no connection to the hostel. A third boy mentioned was a regular weekly boarder who went home each weekend for home tutoring he was not in the hostel over the weekend sylvester did not leave with any visible body injury from the school contrary to what was showcased on social media it said insisting that no issue was raised about his death until seven days after he was collected from school a follow-up call to the family while he was at home revealed his legs was being massaged nothing else stating that Darwin college had been dragged through these people should i really say that these people are heartless or what then they are stating that um, Darwin college had been dragged through the mud the management said today the truth wins our faith wins and our integrity wins just imagine this i really cannot believe this should i rather say these people are heartless or what should i um say about the issue of success because if these people really do have a heart and a respecter of law will they actually come and be saying all these things you're saying i don't really think so at all now it's as if they are mocking uh, um, the parents of the of the dead child that is how this whole thing sounds to me well so many people in the comment section are so angry some are I really really 
paranoid should i put it that way um some said that parents beware of this blood sucking school um sylvester dead should open up your sons hmm. god of vengeance take over this case and give sylvester justice in jesus mighty name someone says so it's wrong for you to cover up a story for children that are guilty what is a school compared to someone's life can a school raise the dead hmm the school authority should be forced to discipline those five boys for those wrongdoings before they are handed over to the authorities but when you cover up for them because of reputation's sake then they will be believed that it is so easy to get out of any crime so they would continue hmm. someone say hmm who is authority franca hmm well no authority anywhere i beg is not the authority that pronounced the judgment that there was nothing wrong with the boy they just arranged different sickness and infection saying that those infections killed the guy hmm, god will judge how can they discipline the people bringing in millions of naira to them okay their main concern is the money not what happens to the dead hmm. what goes around comes around men may be deceived but god cannot there is no smoke without fire how many students have died like here a student playing football football is not wrestling but football in your school is wrestling god is watching whatever a man so he shall reap hmm. well i wonder if this has happened to ordinary citizens in nigeria nearly all the teachers in the school we enter prison the parent of the involved students we enter prison the children themselves will go to prison god will definitely judge all hands that are involved in saying hmm well someone said that god will judge all those that are involved in saying the guy died of infection hmm. just imagine what kind of infection is this does this infection have a name that is what someone is asking well my dear the one college it might interest you to know that the case is far from over hmm. do not jubilate over the mumbo jumbo judgment or advice from whatever quarters the case has just started and trust me by the time it ends doing coven um, coven will not be in existence anymore hmm. well you talk about the death of a child in your custody like this so 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 heartbreaking well they read one of the suspects boasting that his father is so rich that nothing will ever come out from any investigation well we will know the nigerian factor god is watching hmm well god is indeed watching and i know perfectly well that they will not go scot free those that are involved in the death of that innocent child will not get peace out of the death of the boy so now they are trying to tell us that those boys that were mentioned are not um from and the body of not from the hostel so then how come is it possible for the boy who was uh, um, brutally bruised not to know those who are involved in his own beating because i don't get this at all well you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channels thanks for listening god bless you